Hey it's Jens. In today's video I'm going to show you how to grow king oyster mushroom, how to initiate the first and especially how to initiate a big second flush. In the last video I've shown you a harvest using the master's mix for the king oyster mushroom which works awesome but what then? Normally I really want a second or a third maybe even a fourth flush because it's just so much fun to keep your mushrooms alive to get a little more yield out of your grow bags. Before we're going to have a closer look on how to initiate a second flush let's just take a look on the first flush or this bag here, for example, we just started pinning. So here you can see all the small fruiting buddies starting to pop up. I just cut the bag open and put it into my fruiting tan. There is normally nothing else needed because I grow about 18 to 20 degrees. So the temperature must be below 20 to initiate pinning. Otherwise, maybe a cold shock is an option. But at my basement, yeah, they just start growing without any additional help. I really think that it is a good idea to grow them like this in the grow bag because then the humidity stays inside the block. When you take the block out of the bag, of course you can have nice yield and nice fat big mushrooms, but then yeah, maybe you have to rehydrate the block and maybe risk contamination. So I like to keep it inside the bag as long as possible. So when the mushrooms are ready, I just cut the bag at two sides to take the mushrooms out. And then I flip the bag. Let's take a closer look. Like this here. So this is the bottom of the bag. That's one of the bags I harvested yesterday. And I've just flipped the bag, put some foil or a plate or whatever for the fluid coming out. And then I created this air dome. So you have to shake it a little bit so that the substrate is going down inside the bag. And that is pretty awesome because then there is no risk of contamination because the air is still sterile. And let me just show you what happens after one week. So I've done this with the bags of the Masters Mix. And as you can see, the dome has filled with new fruiting bodies. So now I'm going to cut the bag open and put them back into the fruiting tent. So they're just right back in the fruiting tent and they will grow for maybe one more week. Here we have some nice lines main growing at the moment and some experimental blue oyster with... I really have no idea what is going on here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really think that this process really helps to get healthy second flush to not get any contamination. Yeah, I really don't like to rehydrate my blocks. So that's really a good workflow to just leave it inside the bag and get one, two, maybe even three or four big flushes. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more mushroom related content like this or time lapse of growing mushrooms. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next.